welcome friends in this session we are going to show you how to check if file exists or not on the shared location before processing it into the database for example we have a file on this location that is sales file and containing this kind of the data now we need to process this file into our database but before processing it we need to verify if file exists or not for this we are we need two variables number one file path and the scope of the variable is uh, package now data type should be string and we need to copy this uh, path and assign in the, into the value section and the name of the file that is sales dot text now we need to add another variable that is boolean to verify if file exists or not so uh, if file exists then it would be true if not exists it would be false so this type and data type is boolean and default value is false now you can see we had we have added two variables now we need a skip task just drag it into control pro section okay and just go to the add section now you can see uh, in the read only variable section we need to pass the uh, file path okay and we need to write uh, the exist variable based on the if file exist or not then we need to uh, pass this variable into read write variables and click on edit script edit script open a new project window so first of all we need to add a namespace that is using system dot io okay by uh, adding this name we can pull all the system uh, all the directory and files uh, classes over here for this we need to create a string first of all we need to check uh, we need to assign variable value dts dot um, variable now that is exist that is our boolean variable dot value and we need to call the fi uh, file class to check if file exists or not for this we are going to pull the value from our variable for this we need to call our variable that is full path okay dot value value okay because that is an object now we need to convert it into the to string okay now you can see it is very easy after that we need to show message also message box dot so first of all we need to uh check for the path value full path path file path value all here okay now now we need to check the return value so it is in this variable now save the project and close the project
after closing the script uh, project window we are back to our script task editor before processing uh, to the next step we need to verify the variables which have been passed to our script project window so we are going to back our, our edit script project now you can see we have missed the name of the file path now file path should be corrected over here now save it again and close the project now everything okay seems okay now click on ok button just run the project again now you can see we are able to get the value and that is true now what we are going to do here is to the project and in the variable section I am going to change the variable name as a cell text one. Okay, it is it is for the test and purpose. And you can see we don't have the that file. Okay, now go to the now now run again the package. Now you can see that is the file path and it is not available so in this case we can check if file exists or not if file exists then we can set the variable value if not exi exists then based on the variable value we are not uh, able to run the next step in the package so it is very easy how to check uh, if file exists or not in the shared location Please subscribe my channel on YouTube for more videos in SSIS. We have to move to the next step if file exists or not. So for this first of all we are modify we are change this the title of check existence. file now we are adding another variable it will run if file exists or not if file exists ok now we are adding connecting with uh, this with precedence constants now run if file exists okay now we are going to edit this script task and passing read only variable as a boolean variable that is exist okay now we are going to our edit script property edit script uh, sorry edit script window it will open a new project window now we need to check if dts dot variable exist that is the name of the variable dot uh, value dot to string if you have a programming background then it is easy to you then we need to check equals should be true it should be true true ok now uh, we need to pass the uh, message dot show that is file exist ok it will run if file exists or not ok now save this project window again close the project window and click on ok button now we this package this task will run after 
will exist or not. For this, we need to go to the precedence and in the edit section, you can see you can see evaluation operation should be expression based. Now we are passing the expression over here. Okay, if exist. Okay, now this is the value value we are putting into our boolean variable now evaluate evaluate the expression click on ok button and click now that is logical and and logical or and means all the constant must be true logical or any one constant must evaluate to true okay click on ok button now just we are going to show you the variable again that is the sales that means file is exist now save the uh, package and run the package again now this value is coming from that means value boolean value should be true and file exist okay now you can see the second step has been run run has been run successfully based on the first step if the file exist now we are going to change the file name that, uh, that is sales1 ok now you can see this file is not over there now run the package again now you can see file that is a full file path and the value is false you can see the next step is not running over here because the value is false so it is very easy how to run the next step based on the first step please subscribe my channel on youtube to learn more on ssis